Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing some more spring cleanup and planting in my garden today. It is like 54 degrees today, so it's a little chilly and I think we're expecting rain in like an hour or so. So I'm gonna try and hurry up and get this done real quick. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So guys, it looks like it's already starting to drizzle, but I just wanted to show y'all. Y'all check out the blooms on my chocolate chip ajuka. Y'all, this ground cover spreads like crazy. I did thin it out last fall, so it's a little sparse in here, but that will fill in this summer. But check out how full this front side is. So, so pretty. And y'all, I'm still undecided if I'm keeping this golden mop here. My little limelight is looking good, pushing out a lot of new growth. All of my flocks is pushing out lots of new growth. They're all coming back looking good my still be is coming in i might need to move that just because it's a little close to the pieris and my flocks y'all know i love a full garden i love planting things close but i did want to also show y'all look at this new japanese pieris i planted here or pieris however you say it it's looking amazing i love the red color of its new growth it's so so pretty this does bloom bell-shaped flowers. My other one up front by the mailbox already bloomed. The one I had here was struggling. It had some new growth on it, but it had a lot of dead branches. So I just went ahead, dug that one up, and replaced it with this one. I think it's so, so pretty. And it looks so good with this autumn frost hosta that's coming up in the background and the new growth on my boxwood. Such a good combination. Then I also have my little pop of color down here with the Hukuro Wild Rose pushing out new growth as well look at these leaves that purple color is so pretty it's not even doing it justice on camera it's so much more vibrant on in person also my mini mauvette is fleshing out new growth coming back nicely and then my lamb's ear is also coming back my tulips here are about done I only got about three or four days out of these they were gorgeous I'll insert a picture for you guys but y'all I only had three blooms come up this year and I think it's because we had such a mild winter maybe the bulbs didn't have enough chill time in order to produce blooms I'm not sure because last year I had a full ring of blooms and tulips and this year I only had one red flower here the petals have already dropped and then those two pink ones so I'll insert some pictures for you guys so you can see what this normally looks like but yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a quick little update. It is starting to rain, so I am going to pot up my fern under the cover of my patio so I can get out the rain. Hey, Jaxie. You need a haircut, boo. Okay, so let me kind of give you just a front view of what everything is looking like. Y'all, I cannot wait to decorate my patio. I'm waiting to put out like my reef and my rug and stuff until the pollen dies down just a little bit more. And then also I do have my hibiscus trees that I'll be pulling out of the house. I'm gonna wait to bring those out just because it is still getting into the mid 40s at night here. So yeah, I'm gonna wait till it warms up a little bit before I bring those out. I also wanted to show you guys my abelia is coloring up so pretty that I got on clearance. Again, all of these were clearance plants, you guys, including what's in this planters. 
So all of these large white pansies I got from Lowe's on clearance, they were a dollar each. And then for my centerpiece, I did pop in this little Alberta spruce tree. I got this one on clearance as well, half off because it was dead and it had a lot of dying branches. As you can see, it's kind of bare there. Hoping this tree will recover. So yeah, everything is looking nice in the mailbox bed. This is my other Japanese Pieris pushing out the new spring color. The blooms are gone on this. Oh no. There's the blooms for you guys. The little bell-shaped flowers are so sweet. Carissa Hollies are still looking nice and full. And then this is my other Sunshine Abelia. Actually, I'm not sure if this is Sunshine. I'll have to go back and check what I planted here. With. This is my little Fireball Barberry. This turns bright red in the summertime. And then I do have some flowers that I planted in between. There's one right there as well, looking good. So yeah, the mailbox bed is doing well. Let's head over to, y'all, the rain is really starting to come. I'm trying to get this done quick. This is my Barberry here. It is pushing out some new growth. It's kind of hard to see against the black mulch. I did save my Hellenium from my fall planter in this planter here. Not quite sure what I want to plant around it yet, but. Quick interjection guys, I ended up finding these pansies on clearance from Lowe's, so I just planted them around the Hellenium. This planter will be moving just because this tree is going to take up a lot of space. And y'all, it's starting to flush out a bunch of new growth. So excited about this tree. Y'all know this was my little pride and joy purchase last year. I love this tree. Another abelia coloring up nicely. My barberries are pushing out new growth. Again, kind of hard to see against the black mulch. My other fireball down there. Got my butterfly bush. I think I need to prune out some of these branches. Need to check out what's alive and what's dead to clean that up a little bit. My other abelia, Sparberry is coloring up pretty. My Laura Petalum French flowers are in bloom. It's got some sweet little pink flowers all over the bush. Another one down, whoop, two more down in there. So yeah, this one looks great, nice and full. And then my last little barberry down here. So yeah, I will be doing another light mulching on this bed just to make sure I don't have any weeds coming up. Y'all know this area was heavy packed with weeds when I dug this bed out so I am going to do another layer of mulch probably some cardboard in between the bushes as well just to get the weeds under control this first year. Okay guys so it's clearly the next morning because the rain never stopped so I'm gonna go ahead and tackle my fountain grasses real quick. I've got some rope here that I'm going to use to tie them up and then I need some, excuse the mess in my garage. I'm going to use these today. Last year I used just my pruners and it took forever, so. Okay y'all, so I finally finished cutting back the fountain grass here and I did dig up a purple fountain grass from here and also this corner, filled it with topsoil, covered it with some cardboard and then put just a light layer of mulch just to help prevent anything from growing down in the hole. I do need to come back and edge this up with my trimmer 
and also finish mulching. I've got to mulch all of my beds actually. I'm waiting for the mulch sale. I did also end up doing just a light pruning on my golden mop just to give it a little bit of a better shape because it was looking kind of crazy. Same thing for my abelia here. I did trim off just a few limbs. Hopefully I didn't cut off too many of this year's buds but I think it'll be okay. So yeah let's head to the backyard now. Okay so I'm going to stand back real quick for the adjustments. Originally, if you all remember, I had a pink chiffon rose of sarin, which is this bush right down here in the front. That was planted back there on the corner. And then I also had a Alberta spruce that I had got for free that did not survive, planted a little farther back here in the corner. So what I've done is I moved the pink chiffon forward here. And then I also had my sunshine legustrum planted here that is now over there. And what I did was I planted this boxwood here. This is the boxwood that used to be in my front yard that I replaced with my rhododendron. This one was sitting on my table on the patio. So pop this one in the ground here. So that made room for me to plant a small little hedge on the back row of these three clearance Florida sunshine anise in the back. And then I've replaced the spruce tree with this gorgeous forever goldie arborvitae. You guys, look at the color on the tips here. It's like an orangish, reddish orange tint. But y'all, this tree will stay this gold color year round. And I think it contrasts really nice with the blue point juniper that I have back there in the back. So yeah, those are the changes that I've made. Again, this backyard bed is still a work in progress. I am planning on extending this bed out a little further just so the tree will have room. So I probably will adjust it out to here bring the curve out a little further just because I want to have some room to plant some like other perennials and annuals in the front. I am going to edge this bed formally and again still replacing the railing around my patio back here. So yeah, those are the changes so far. Oh yeah, and also I need to get the little accordion thing to redirect the water so that this tree doesn't get too wet. And thank you to whoever commented on my last video. This is backwards, so I need to flip it around. And actually all of them around my house were this way. I'm not sure if the previous owner just didn't know, but yeah, I need to turn this around so the water actually drains and doesn't pool here. So I'm gonna do that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's update. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. And as always, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.